Hi, my name is Tiffany Yomer, and I am the admissions counselor here at Willow Gray Opportunity School. I would like to take this moment to go over a few things about our program and pretty much get you oriented for your on-site interview with us. Of course, we are a 14-week quasi-military style residential program, and we would like for the students to most definitely work on and focus getting their GED. We actually have four platoons here. We have one platoon of girls and three platoons of guys. Of course, how the platoons are laid out is pretty much how the kids actually go to school as well. The girls actually go to school with girls and the guys have classes with guys. There is typically no mix and mingle, so that's how we keep their focus and making sure that they are reaching their goal of getting their GED. They actually go to school between Monday through Friday between 8.30 and 3.45. Of course, on Fridays, they have a half day, which goes into the weekend, which is pretty daggone well, if you ask me. The activities and um, field trips, they typically have those on the weekends, but of course, those are privileges, and as always, privileges are earned. Keep in mind that you need to be here and make sure you're focused and do what you're told and when you're told and how you're told, and you'll be able to work on going on those field trips and enjoying yourself on the weekends. We do not have in-school suspension, so if any event that a student is written up, they will actually be placed on the red list. And if they are placed on the red list, then they work out for two hours after school. Actually, we call it on the hill, and you do not want to work out for two hours after school. I know as far as when the spring and summer hits here in South Carolina, it is hot. And of course, being outside working out that long period of time, that's no fun. So please keep in mind, the moral of the story is, do not get written up. Students, please make sure that if you're actually struggling in any subject here, make sure you ask for assistance because that's what our teachers are here for. They have the passion to make sure that you guys are getting your education. So if you have a problem with anything, please ask. They are there to help you. Also, additionally, we actually have a medical department and a counseling department here. Of course, each student is assigned a counselor, so if you actually have anything going on with you while you're here as far as working on anger management or any anxiety or you just feel a little sad or you just want to vent about something that's you know personal, please make sure you vent with your counselor about those things. Keep in mind, we do not allow students to actually bring in their electronic devices. So I know how important it is for our young folks to actually be so attached to your cell phones, but we do not allow students to bring those items when they're accepted into our program. So please do not bring them on registration day. In the event that you do try to bring them in, we will search your bag and of course we will return those items to your parents. We also would like to let you guys know, of course going through this program can be tough and can be hard for each student. We would like for families to keep in mind that it can be difficult and as far as, you know, the adjustment, that's the reason why we have counseling here for them, you know, to help vent. But the first two weeks that the student is here of our program, they do not have any privileges actually as far as to make any phone calls home. After those first two weeks, they're able to get a phone call home on the weekends for 10 minutes. During those first two weeks, they are able to write and receive letters, as many letters as they like. So, of course, I always take it back old school, letting you guys know that if you need the little problem as far as working on your ELA, this is the perfect time. I know, again, like I said before, it can be very difficult, but I also task the assignment to each of the parents to make sure you write your um, students while they're here. It's great to actually have that external support while they're here, and it's great to actually, you know, be able to send love through the mail. So please, 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 parents, please write them while they're here. It's great to have that support while they're here, like I said before. Also, when you guys are sending letters in or sending care packages, please do not send any snacks through the mail. You have to keep in mind that we do have students who are allergic to certain things, and of course, we try to make sure that we control the environment as best way as possible. So please make sure you do not send those snacks. We are here for the students every step of the way. We are here from start to finish. We do have graduation ceremony that's typically in the summertime. Of course, if a student passes all four sections of the GED, they are welcome to most definitely participate in those ceremonies. But in the event that a student is not able to pass all four sections of the GED, then of course, they're able to invite themselves back and of course, finish up where they left off. So for example, if a student passes three sections of the GED, and of course they did not pass one, they will come back for the next following cycle, pretty much and uh, work on that one subject only, and then we'll work towards you know, getting them to the finish line so they can be able to have a successful completion of the GED itself. Otherwise, I think this might be everything as far as I need to go with you guys. If you have any questions or concerns at the end of this video, please let us know and we will address them at the end of the interview. I hope this information is helpful and you guys have a great day. Yes, I am glad I'm here because it's really helpful.
helping me. I have a lot of things I want to do. I like I like being in charge of others, you get it, I guess you could say. Traditional high school isn't for everyone. But I messed up in high school, so I figured this would be the best opportunity for me to get on my right track. I uh, missed a lot of days at school. I was pretty bad, stayed in trouble a little bit. So I want to become a nurse, so it's really my last option. Will Lou Gray Opportunity School is built on the belief that there's more than one way to learn. More than one way to gain self-discipline, job skills, and life skills. More than one way to help teens realize what they have to offer and how they can succeed. My confidence, my confidence how I really build up stuff in here. Will Lou Gray, South Carolina's alternative education school, serves young men and women 16 to 19 years of age who are on a path toward dropping out of or failing high school, missing out on a college education, being underemployed or unemployed, or a negative lifestyle as a result of their environment or poor choices. The students selected to attend Will Lou Gray School are offered a route around these challenges. For 14 weeks, they live and attend classes on a quiet 87-acre campus in West Columbia. Through assessments in their first week, they learn about their strengths and discover new possibilities. Each student then follows a self-paced program that teaches self-discipline and critical life skills, as well as prepares them for GED testing. I take my GED September 6th, and I'll be ready. All I need is to get my 30 points, and I'll be able to go home and do what I got to do, start my life. Each has an individual guidance plan that may include job explanations, college advisement, or job readiness training. Students prepare to take and pass the GED through both direct instruction and computer-based programs. They receive job training in state-of-the-art classrooms from teachers who are certified experts in their fields. Students not only gain marketable job skills, but through these programs, they're motivated to work on their studies, too. Will Lou Gray vocational programs focus on five areas. Digital art and design, forklift safety training, building construction, automotive technology, and OSHA 10 certification. Part of the education at Will Lou Gray is learning what the student is capable of doing. The school offers a national award-winning junior ROTC program. When you go to attention, you have to be quick about it. Fluid motion, braid rest, snap to it. Left face, right face, you all do it as one. If you do it as one, it looks really good. If you don't do it as one, you look jacked up. The campus environment promotes community respect and self-confidence. Canoeing, kayaking, uh, bike riding, It feels great, you know. It's good to get out, be out the dorm, you know, get exercise. The wind blowing <laughs> on you feels great. There you go. Softball, basketball, yeah. hiking. Students receive room, board, and books at no cost. Enrollment is open to South Carolina students who are drug free and are physically and mentally capable of completing our demanding program. No Will Lou Gray student can be under indictment or a convicted felon. I'm so excited. Our graduate outcomes are remarkable. 60% of our students enter the workforce or college, 24% complete high school, and 6% enter the military. Named for its founder, Dr. Will Lou Gray, the school lives by her motto, Why Stop Learning? It changed me in a lot of ways. Changed my attitude towards education, changed my attitudes towards people that I don't know. This place has shown me, like, it's not good to run from your education. It's um, a really great place. You got people here that are willing to help you. It's something that's going to get you through every day. You need it for like everyday basis. It's just something you have to have. And they're making it possible for me because if I wasn't here, I would not be in high school. I wouldn't. I couldn't go back. It's a place called Willow Gray that will help you with everything that you have problems with. Never stop learning. That's the slogan. Hello, I'm Pat Smith. I'm director of the Will Lou Gray Opportunity School. I want to welcome you to our campus today and thank you for your interest in applying 
at the Wheeler Gray Opportunity School. We look forward to serving you in, in the weeks to come. And today we want to begin with a little bit of a tour to show you about life at Wheeler Gray. And today I'm outside to show you a little bit about our recreational and residential activities that we offer before we talk about our school. As you can see, we have all kinds of activities, including softball behind us going on. We have that as well as all sorts of activities for the student on a daily basis and as well as our weekend. We'll go into our gymnasium and recreational center and then into the school building so you get a full perspective of what we do at Will of Great. We now begin our tour in our education building where all of our learning takes place. We're in our media center. Our media center is kind of the hub of activity where kids are given every opportunity to read and have some quiet time. In our media center, we have Kindle, readers, iPads, and Chromebooks, as well as a Promethean table to assist students with learning. It also gives them some quiet time from class and a chance to encourage their opportunities for reading. This is one of our standard classrooms, which looks like a junior college or community college, small student to teacher ratios, supplemented by smart board technology for learning. This is our healthcare center where holistic care occurs with our students from counseling to traditional health care, to just about every sort of care they may need. This is our auditorium where a lot of activities go on from, from family day activities to talent shows to various assemblies. This is our cafeteria. It is standard cafeteria as you can see uh, where our kids eat three meals a day as well as a snack. Our dorms uh, are just like these dorms. Each of the rooms are, are equipped the same where we have a, basically a roommate from somewhere in South Carolina. And you'll learn to do your laundry and, and participate in, in dorm cleaning activities while you're here, as well as learning to make their beds. That concludes our tour of the Will Lugray Opportunity School. It gives you a brief overview of daily life at Will Lugray and your experience that you'll encounter here. I hope that you choose to attend and will enroll on registration day and we look forward to serving you and seeing you complete our program. Thank you for your interest in the Willow Gray Opportunity School.